This is the story of a young girl named Alice who lived in a pretty neighborhood near a big park. Alice had an older sister and they would often go to the park to spend the day together. Uh, for a minute there I thought I would fall asleep. Do you ever get tired of reading books that don't have any pictures? Oh, not at all. I get to use my imagination. I think I would fall asleep not having pictures in my books. You can fall asleep doing anything, Alice. I think you enjoy dreaming. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't seem to wake up today, though. I need to go for a walk or something. Huh? What a funny bunny. I'm late. I am really late. I'm late. I'm late. I wonder where he's going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Where did he go? Oh, I don't see him anymore. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> one of these doors. I guess I'll have to try and guess which one he used. Uh, no, this one's locked. Uh, 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 not even one of them opens. They're all locked. Oh, I don't remember seeing that table there before. Hmm. Maybe this is the key that opens one of the doors. Not this one. Oh, frustrating! This doesn't fit any of the doors. Oh, I wonder what's behind that curtain. <laughs> the key must fit this one. wasn't much use. <gasps> There's something on the table. I wonder what this is. It just says, drink me. I don't know if I should drink it. I don't know what's in it at all. It smells like orange juice. It must be okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't get up to reach the key again, and now I'm too small to go anywhere at all. I won't be able to go home. <laughs> Alice cried so much that the room started filling up with all the water from her tears. Finally, there was so much water that the door burst open. The young lady there cried it all out. Oh, hi, my name's Alice. Hello, Alice. Your little storm of tears was quite, um, refreshing, I must say. Speak for yourself. Hmm. How are we all supposed to get dry? We could sit in the sun. That's boring. Let's have a race around the big tree. Good, Good idea, idea, Mouse. The wind will dry us off. Ready, set, go. Wait for me. I want to run with you. <laughs> Yeah. I'll bet I get dry before everyone else. Ha! Not if I pass you first. <laughs> okay, I'm dry. How's everybody else? I'm all dry. Did I win the race? No, nobody wins the tree races. What? But what's the point of doing it then? It's just for pure good old-fashioned fun. It's not a real race then. Maybe you should try calling it something else, Mouse. Oh, Mr. Rabbit! Oh dear, I've got to find my fan and gloves. If I don't, the Queen's going to be upset. Maybe I forgot them in my house. Oh, I'm always late. Mr. Rabbit, come back! I have your things here with me now! Wait! Mr. Rabbit! <laughs> I don't know what might happen, but it smells so delicious. Just a taste. <gasps> oh, oh, it's sweet. of a young girl named Alice who lived in a pretty neighborhood near a big park. Alice had an older sister and they would often go to the park to spend the day together. Uh, for a minute there I thought I would fall asleep. Do you ever get tired of reading books that don't have any pictures? Oh, not at all. I get to use my imagination. I think I would fall asleep not having pictures in my books. You can fall asleep doing anything, Alice. I think you enjoy dreaming. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I can't seem to wake up today, though. I need to go for a walk or something. Huh? <laughs> what a funny bunny. I'm late. I am really late. I'm late. I'm late. I wonder where he's going. <laughs> Oh. oh! Where did he go? Oh, I don't see him anymore. That's strange. <laughs> Juice? Oh, 
It's empty. one of these doors. I guess I'll have to try and guess which one he used. Uh, no, this one's locked. Uh, 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 not even one of them opens. They're all locked. Oh, I don't remember seeing that table there before. Hmm. Maybe this is the key that opens one of the doors. Not this one. Oh, how frustrating! This doesn't fit any of the doors. Oh, I wonder what's behind that curtain. <laughs> the key must fit this one. garden I am way too big to fit through that little door this key wasn't much use there's something on the table I wonder what this is it just says drink me I don't know if I should drink it I don't know what's in it at all it smells like orange juice. It must be okay. Huh? <laughs> ah! Everything is getting bigger! I think something really strange is going on. Ah! Ah! Actually, I'm the one who's gotten smaller. Oh! What's that on the floor? and a pair of gloves. I think the bunny must have dropped it while he was running. I can give them back to him once I get out of here. Ugh. It's locked again. I have to use the key. Oh my goodness, I forgot it on the table. I'll have to climb up there. cried so much that the room started filling up with all the water from her tears. Finally, there was so much water that the door burst open. young lady there cried it all out. Oh, hi, my name's Alice. Hello, Alice. Your little storm of tears was quite, um, refreshing, I must say. Speak for yourself. Huh. How are we all supposed to get dry? We could sit in the sun. That's boring. Let's have a race around the big tree. 
Good idea, Mouse. The wind will dry us off. Ready, set, go. Wait for me. I want to run with you. <laughs> else. <sighs> I'm all dry. Did I win the race? No, nobody wins the tree races. What? But what's the point of doing it then? It's just for pure good old-fashioned fun. It's not a real race then. Maybe you should try calling it something else, Mouse. Oh, Mr. Rabbit! Oh dear, I've got to find my fan and gloves. If I don't, the Queen's going to be upset. Maybe I forgot them in my house. Oh, I'm always late. Mr. Rabbit! She was right. She managed to reach the bottle and become small again. Then she decided to get away before the owner of the house came home and got mad. That's far enough. I've been running for a pretty long time. Too much running could be bad for you. Oh, hello. How are you? I was about to ask you that. I couldn't tell you. What do you mean you couldn't tell me? How could you not tell me? It's hard to explain. I fell down from a rabbit hole, and since then I've been changing non-stop. You say you've been changing non-stop? You mean like changing your clothes? No, I mean changing sizes. First I was small, then big, and now I'm small again, and I don't know where I am. I just want to go back home now. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I don't know where you came from. Thanks, anyway. Now, hold on. Don't be in such a rush. I didn't say I couldn't help you at all. If you'll help me, I would be really grateful. I'm starting to be homesick. Well, I wonder why you came down to Wonderland in the first place. If you're so lonely, perhaps you just shouldn't travel, huh? But it's not my fault. I fell down a hole that opened in the ground. Yeah, that's what everybody says once they get here and can't find the way home. If you really want to go home, you have to taste a little of that mushroom there. Really? Why? Well, because that mushroom is like all those potions. It'll make you change sizes if you want. The right side is for big and the left side is for small. Mushrooms are round. How am I supposed to figure out which side is which? Your guess is as good as mine. No one's ever been willing to try. They all end up staying here. Well, you're not much help, but I am not staying here. I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, I can feel my neck grow. Oh, 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 thought it looked very attractive on you. That's only because you're a caterpillar. It was awful. Well, at least you got to try something new and exciting. Yes, well, goodbye. Some folks are so serious, they have absolutely no sense of humor at all. Silly caterpillar. This place is stranger than anything I could have dreamed of. Well, maybe you should dream more. Huh? Hello? 
I don't belong here. Would you be able to help me by any chance? Perhaps. It all depends on what you're looking for. I would like to find a way out. Then does it matter where the way out leads you? I just want to go back home if possible. Well, anything's possible when you put your mind to it, you know. You just have to believe and it will happen. Is this some kind of riddle? Not at all, my dear. What you see is what you get around here. Just keep that in mind. I will. Thank you very much. And by the way, if you go through to the clearing, you'll find a Mad Hatter and a March Hare having their tea. They'd probably help you out. They spend all day just making things up. <laughs> I wonder how he turns himself invisible. A tea party in a clearing with a hatter and a hare. I guess that's not so unusual for this place anyway. But I'll be showing up for it empty-handed. I hope they won't think that I'm rude. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our tea party. Thank you. You wouldn't happen to know the owner of these gloves and this fan, would you? That's a very good question, but I'm afraid I can't answer you. <laughs> Why? Don't you know him, sir? I might know him, and I might not. It all depends on how you see things. Right, Mr. March Hare? Mm -hmm. He dropped these in the place with all the doors, and I want to return them. Then how come you're holding them? He disappeared just before the house broke. This is too much for me. I'm about to blow my lid. My hat's in full bloom, just in time, too. Oh, you mean we're having tea now? <laughs> sure, don't you know what tea parties are for? Oh, of course I know what they're for. Good, that makes you one of us then. I hope this isn't too strong for you there, Missy. <laughs> Drink up. There's nothing in my teacup. What do you mean? I just filled it with piping hot tea. Are you making fun of me now? No. Oh, here, have a biscuit. You'll feel better. Your basket is empty too, sir. I baked these this morning. You should probably get your eyes checked. I have perfect vision. Then why can't you see things my way? I'm going to blow my lid off again. It's better when you make flowers pop out. Thanks for the tea, even if it didn't exist. What a strange little person. I hope we see her soon. <laughs> I've never met anyone who served imaginary tea and biscuits before. <laughs> oh, there's a castle! It looks like one from my picture books. It's beautiful. Are we almost finished? Not quite. Keep painting. There are some people over there. Why didn't we just plant red roses in the first place? We were supposed to, but someone used the wrong seeds. Don't look at me, Five. Well, why are you painting the rose bushes? We're hoping to paint them before the Queen gets here for a visit. We were supposed to plant red rose bushes, but we made a mistake. And if we don't paint all of them before Her Majesty arrives, we'll be in big trouble. Oh, my goodness. That's strict. She's coming. Everybody, bow! Oh. Should I bow, too? What are these pots of paint doing here? I am unable to tell you that, Your Majesty. Nobody withholds information from me, young lady. Quickly, off with her head now. Oh, there's no need to yell. I'll yell if I want to. This is my kingdom. Now, now, Queenie dear, she's just a frightened child. Oh, get up, please. I have a few questions. <laughs> Why aren't there any flowers in the castle yet? Huh? Those bushes have white buds on them. I know I specifically asked you to plant red rose bushes this time. Yes, yes Your Majesty, Majesty, you did. Huh? And you were trying to fool me by painting them all red. 
Quickly! Off no, with the heads! please! We're sorry! Stay behind me! I'll protect you! I won't let anybody hurt you because of some rose bushes! What are you waiting for? Go after them! Right! Everybody run! Come back here! Hurry! Hurry! Come on, cards! We can catch them! Come on, you guys! Hurry! Stay with me! Come on! Here we go! Let's go run! Come on! Jack? Right. Okay, they're gone. <sighs> what happened? Uh, Where are they? Your Majesty, I believe that we were tricked by the young lady. I did trick him. Oh. What is this? What exactly do you think you're doing? Protecting them. It seems like your favorite thing to say is off with their heads. It's not nice. Well, I'm the queen and I do whatever I want to around here. If you don't like it, just go home. Nobody's going to stop you, my dear. <sighs> go ahead. You're free to go on your merry way. Thanks, but I'm afraid that's impossible. Well, that settles it then. You'll want to join us for the croquet tournament, won't you? Sure, if you'll show me how. So Alice joined the Queen for croquet, but she didn't know she should let the Queen win. Cards in position! You get the porcupine ball through the hoops now. You mean I'm supposed to kick him around the field? No, you're going to hit him with a flamingo. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. How? You knock the ball through the hoops with the mallet. I didn't notice they were on their heads now. How else would they make the hoops, huh? Okay, I guess I'll give it a try. But what if I hit someone? Why don't you play instead of asking so many questions? Because I'm naturally curious, I suppose. I've learned a lot that way today. Oh! Oh! There's the rabbit again! Wait up! Guards! Stop her right there! Oh! oh. You can't leave in the middle of the game! Oh, okay. Where's the ball? <laughs> Three of diamonds is next. Pick him up and it will be off with his head. <laughs> next! It will be off with his head. I missed one too, but I think my mallet twisted funny. No excuses. It will be off with your head. That's not funny. Stop saying that, please. Oh, oh! Now you've made my favorite mallet fly away. You'll have to stand trial for that. I want you to catch this girl. But it's only a game. Why are you all so serious? Order in the court. Jack of Hearts, you are accused of stealing a cherry pie from the windowsill of the Queen's kitchen. Your Honor, I am innocent. I don't even like cherry pie. That's for the jury to decide. The judge is right, and the jury should remember who's the boss around here. Your Majesty, we must remain fair. Why is that? Without fairness, there is no justice. All right, but just make sure that it comes out fair in my favor. Our first witness, the Mad Hatter. Your Honor. Huh? It's him again. Mr. Mad Hatter, you told the court previously that you had seen someone resembling the Jack of Hearts with the stolen cherry pie. Oh, my goodness. That is what I said, Your Honor. But before we go on, may I speak with the Queen? What is it? I'm listening. I am most interested in pleasing my queen, and I find the truth very enriching. That sneak, he's going to lie. <laughs> Go ahead and tell the jury who took my cherry pie. She doesn't care if he's lying. She just won't admit that she might be wrong. I saw him with my very own eyes. The Jack of Hearts swiped your pie and ran full speed right past me. Oh! <gasps> Order in the court! Order in the court, please! This court session is over! I rule that the Jack of Hearts took my cherry pie! Your Majesty, we have to let the jury make the decision. The only person making decisions around here is me! Be fair! Excuse me. Mm -hmm.
This Hatter makes the most terrible eyewitness. He pretends to see things that aren't there. How would you know? He tried to make me drink some imaginary tea and taste some imaginary biscuits. He's not very reliable at all, and he's got quite a temper, too. I've never even seen this person. She's making all of this up. She's just trying to damage my great reputation. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, I have had quite enough from you, young lady. Off with her head. Off. You're blowing things way out of proportion. It's only a fruit pie. You're not allowed to be taller than the courtroom. You will have to leave the premises. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm back to normal. I'm going to hold you in contempt. Don't worry, I'm going back home. But just don't step on anyone on your way out. I won't. But I just want to say one thing first. Don't let the queen be so pushy. Oh, this time you've gone too far. This is my kingdom! Guards! Capture this brush, little girl! On the way home, you'll have time. Oh, where would I start? <laughs> some parts were scary, but some parts were really lots of fun. Hold on, I'm coming. 